what's up everybody welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Tanel and um, yeah 2018 is here and this is my well my first uh, proper video of uh, 2018 so in today's video i'm gonna give my final uh, verdict out for the aoc ag 272 fscx minor which uh, was highly asked uh, from me when I did the unboxing video but I didn't have any time to do the review uh, back then because I was building well, that beast on the wall over there. Uh, if you want to see that take a look at it uh, on my channel. Uh, I have a trailer and I have an assembly video of it also. My brand new PC, my first chassis that I designed and uh, I, well, I soldered the cables. So there's no cables visible. Even solar the power supply game, you, you just have to see it. But anyway, in today's video, we're gonna take a look at this uh, monitor here. It's about 350 euros, so it should be a pretty good price range for a lot of people out there. And uh, for anyone that is curious at the moment uh, what is going on with my video quality here, it is my first, I think it's my first 4K video on my channel here. Uh, today I'm testing out the uh, Sony A7R Mark III with a uh, really proper lens. And um, yeah, let me know how you guys like the uh, camera. And um, yeah, I'm gonna try and get the uh, A7R Mark III or the A7S Mark III. So they are really darn good cameras and I've been looking for them for quite a few years, but they're bloody expensive compared to my 70D. Uh, but anyway, I'm, I need to do the switch, and as you can see, I don't have my TV here um, at the moment. Also, because uh, I sold it, uh, because it's time to move to 4K at least, if not 8K. But anyway, today we're gonna look at this uh, 1080p screen, so let's take a uh, sneak peek, a little closer look of the monitor, and then I'm gonna start talking a little bit more about it. As you could see, the uh, look of the monitor is uh, pretty similar to a lot of other ASC models from 2017. Now, I've seen a couple of 2018 models and what I know so far is that the uh, stand for the monitor is gonna be black in the future versions, which is, um, I think, a pretty nice move. Uh, although I really love the um, uh, silver color uh, here also. But anyway, the monitor itself, well, first of all, yeah, it's a 1080p screen which is mm, kind of a bummer at the moment, I think, because, uh, you know, in today's world, well, 1440p is like the minimum that we would want to have on our monitor, but, uh, you know, then again, there's a lot of people out there uh, with uh, not that much of horsepower or CPU and GPU power in their uh, PC, so a regular 1080p screen is uh, really good for a lot of people out there still to this day and also that brings the price down as well and as I stated it is uh, about 350 euros uh, here in East Europe in Estonia uh, but yeah 1080p screen it's a MVA panel which uh, colors are really good now I, I was in discussion uh, with um, AOC staff at Gamescom the, last year 2017 and uh, yeah, uh, we talked about the uh, IPS versus uh, VA type of panels and stuff like that. And you know, what I know now is um, the VA panels are starting to be become uh, a lot more accurate and uh, even might surpass IPS panels. So these uh, uh, MVA panels and VA panels uh, from the later 2017 are coming to really good qualities in terms of colors. So uh, MVA panel, four milliseconds, uh, pretty good stuff. And of course, uh, because it is an MVA, it uh, suits perfectly for the curve uh, monitor that, uh, that the AG2272 FCX is so it's a curved monitor with a rating of 1800R and uh, it's a regular curvature and um, it's a pretty nice curvature although uh, me personally I do prefer just flat screens uh, but yeah for people who do love curved monitors uh, there's nothing really bad in going that way but if you 
when I look at the miter at an angle, then the GERD miter might distort the picture a little bit. That's why I don't really like uh, GERD miters myself, but you know, it, it's just my own opinion. Oh, and coming to the boards, it does have two HDMIs, one display board and uh, yeah, the prehistoric VGA board without a DVI board. So yeah, maybe it could have had a DVI board also. But then again, it does have uh, audio, uh, your headphone output and um, your microphone output uh, with also three USB uh, boards, which is a pretty uh, nice little feature. And it also comes with the AOC quick little um, remote dongle uh, that you can uh, use to you know navigate the menu uh, quicker and uh, load your saved settings faster so you can save like uh, three really good settings uh, one for gaming one for you know watching movies and one maybe for browsing the web so you always have the best picture quality for a certain thing uh, um, at the palm of your hand now uh, one little extra thing as you can see it is the uh, well <laughs> borderless uh, monitor, well, kind of borderless. The LCD panel still doesn't like reach the edges of the screen. So when that happens, I wouldn't say it's a borderless, but it's, uh, I've become to love the uh, design of the monitors uh, that don't have the uh, plastic borders. It's not a big uh, deal or anything, but it does look a little bit smoother without uh, plastic bars uh, on the edges of the screen. Uh, it, ha it does have the black bar of the LCD there, but uh, it's still better than a plastic bar on top of that, I think. And uh, yeah, the overall the design of the monitor, uh, proper EOC quality, really nice design, nothing bad to say there, and also has a handle, so really easy to uh, you know transport the monitor. And um, yeah, it is a 144 Hz monitor, so it is uh, built for the gamers. Now, sadly, it doesn't have G-Sync, but it does have free sync So you guys with your slow V Vega cheap, oh god. Who the heck buys Vegas today? I guess a lot of miners. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it does have an AMD free sync. So if you have an AMD video card, which, which hopefully you don't, but if you do, you can enjoy free sync, which, um, yeah, you know, dials down the uh, tearing of the screen. Now, but it's not a huge deal breaker. Uh, I mean, the, uh, the most important thing is, of course, the Hertz and it's 144 Hertz. Uh, it's uh, super smooth, really nice to uh, operate and, uh, you know, play games and um, the quality of the uh, quality of the screen uh, while playing or while editing videos is really great. So I've been really impressed uh, by the monitor. And of course, it doesn't cost uh, that much if you consider it a curved 27 inch uh, uh, monitor uh, with some proper colors, proper design and stuff like that. So yeah, AFC always uh, one of the best price ranges and uh, also the quality is up on bar with the, uh, you know, the most highly priced monitors out there. But yeah, I mean, I mean, is there anything more to say about the monitor? I didn't want to make a really long video about this uh, today here. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I've been using the monitor for quite some time now, but I just didn't have any time to uh, review it before. But anyway, that's uh, kind of gonna conclude my review here. Uh, my final verdict for the AOC HE272 FCX is gonna be on 9 out of 10. It's, it's really a great monitor if you're looking for a 1080p screen with a curvature. So there's there's hardly anything bad to say about it. Oh oh yeah, and did I I almost uh, forgot. I, I seem to forget these things, but this monitor does have some. Uh, it doesn't have RGB lighting, but it does have some LED action going on uh, underneath the uh, panel here and behind the panel, uh, which you can adjust um, from the menu buttons. And of course, the um, menu is also under this uh, panel here uh, with a control stick here. Absolutely, really love to navigate the menu with this uh, joystick style button here. And the menu selection is also very um, varied and um, really complete. So you can really fine tune your monitor. And um, yeah, you can turn off the LEDs if you do not fancy them. I kind of don't understand why we need the LEDs behind the monitor. I mean, most, not, let's be honest, 90% of people will just, you know, put their monitor 
yeah, next to a wall and they're never gonna see behind the monitor and uh, even if you turn uh, off the lights um, the glow doesn't it doesn't glow that much you know you can't see the colors out uh, from the back of the uh, LCD but anyway yeah that's gonna kind of conclude my review here hopefully you guys liked it and uh, there's a lot of uh, more stuff coming in 2018 so stick around on my youtube channel here hit that subscribe button and uh, yeah leave a like for me and if you have any questions uh, or if you have this monitor and want to add something to it or if you want to tell me that hey i missed that thing i should you know uh, take a look at it uh, in the next video review then yeah leave a comment down below and um yeah i don't have a color calibration tool other than my iphone 7s uh, or 7 plus um which is a pretty good color you know uh, lcd screen or color screen out of the box so that's kind of how i you know do the color accuracy test at the moment but i do have plans to get a color calibration tool so yes stay tuned for that i am gonna get one soon but anyway thanks for watching i see you guys later thanks for it i already said that thanks for watching for the third time i'll see you guys later ciao for now